the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare came out this year in 2024, and it follows all these people, you know, prisoners and all that stuff, sent together to go on this mission from Winston Churchill to go over and just basically kill a bunch of Nazis and take down this giant ship that will help them win World War II. This movie does feel a lot like the Suicide Squad in the way that they assemble this whole group, send them out to go on a mission, and in return, they'll get something else. In this case, they get their own, basically, private military, basically connected to Winston Churchill, and this is actually based on a true story, based off of um, documents that were declassified in 2016. Still, I mean, it's literally said at the beginning of the movie, but still, it doesn't really focus on those aspects. It mainly just focuses on um, going in, killing these people, killing all the bunch of the Nazis, just picking them off one by one. And yeah, because we start off this movie with basically just seeing our main characters on a ship, you know, and these other Nazis th that are on a submarine come over to their ship and they're like, and just basically raid the ship. And then they, and then they're, and then, these have these this back and forth. It's funny because they're pretending to you know be drunk and everything, and then one of them just pulls out a knife and just starts shanking all of the ones on board on to, on the deck, and then one of them that was hiding in the wall under the ship just starts blazing all the Nazis that were below the ship, like just going just raiding it, and it's just this fun execute plan and execution type of setup, and it's just good just fun to see, and obviously and. Uh, so I said earlier, Winston Churchill has sent them, uh, you know, the British Party sent them, uh, Winston Churchill, secret operation. But on their way there to the asylum where the ship is, what they have to do is they have to go rescue one of the people that they're going to take on this mission. And to do this, they break into this military base. Now, this is probably the best sequence in the movie. It's where, it's where th they all just go in, first it's a stealth mission. And you just see them going through this Nazi base, just breaking open a, busting open a door, shooting a bunch of Nazis, just one by one, just picking them off one by one. And then they finally got this giant, and then one of them throws a grenade through a window, like jokingly, and it's funny. You know, they, you know, like they're killing Nazis with a smile on their face. You can tell they're enjoying it. And you're enjoying them with them. So it's great. Just a win-win, you know. So then this one guy gets in this huge gun, just conveniently placed in the middle of the base to where he can get all the perfect buildings shot up in seconds. And he gets on here and just freaking blazes all these rooms. And then you cut to him shooting and then you cut inside to see this build, to see this room. This is being blazed with bullets, a bunch of bullet holes everywhere. And there's blood spewing everywhere out from these Nazis and they're falling and they're blowing up. Heads are flying. It's freaking awesome. And then they eventually rescue their friend, and this is where they have to go to the main location, and yeah. And then we cut to our other two main characters, also sent to this area, also sent to this island, but for a slightly different reason, but to mainly set up the things in place so um, that our ma other main characters that we saw at the beginning of the movie can go in and you know, further just bang, bang, you know, blow up, pick them off, and just take and blow up the ship, pretty much. So they have to go to the, so they go to the island and we get to see a little bit more of this and how they're prepping for this actual mission. And as they're prepping this, we also get to see our main villain of this movie. And his name I'm not even gonna try to pronounce, so I'm just gonna call him the main villain, pretty much. Let's go for him as that. Anyway, so he, his character is a really interesting villain because this man is incredibly evil, but in a different way than a lot of other villains. Because you see him just when you first see him, you you hear before before you first see him, you hear one of the main characters say, "There's only one thing worse than a Nazi, and that's him." You know, saying his name, and um, then you see this guy with a with a with a messed up shirt with blood on it, and he walks out of this just blackened room with blacked out windows, and and that's basically how we first see him. And then when we actually get in our our main characters actually make contact with him we, we just see him and he has this this he has mannerisms and the way he acts and uh maneuvers himself he does it in such a way it just feels evil and kind of creepy and every scene he is when he's smiling you just feel this evil kind of like iciness creeping up on your back it's just it's incredible to watch because he, he does such a good job playing this villain 
It makes it even more satisfying when he gets, gets when he gets shot in the head. I mean, I kind of wish one of the one of the main characters would have popped up, blew his face off, because I think that would have been a better death than what death he did get. But hey, it's fine because the rest of this movie's great. So again, they they boot, they boot up the plan and everything, and the uh, and the main characters that were actually on the ship go in and pr and they go on the ship right, and you see them. Taking out all these people, whether it's with a bow and arrow, an axe, a gun, all these different things. They, they are just using to absolutely wreck these Nazis. This is fun to watch because, you know, and they're, they're Nazis, so it's like, it's cool. And you just, just pick him off, they're blowing their faces off. It's incredible, you know. Eventually, they're like, no, we're just going to steal a ship and bring it to international waters. Uh, we don't feel like blowing it up because, well, yeah, we just can't. So then they just take it out, and they take it out of the shore, and, you know, this is when they realize, hey, they're stealing our ship. So then their plan kind of fails because they realize they can't blow it up, so they, and then they take it out of the shore, and this is when we get, and after they do this, it cuts back over to, um, Britain, and, um, they're back in their area, and Winston Churchill just pulls up, and, and they're all in this room together, and he's like, now you guys should honor uh, there's a bunch. There's just this whole spiel about about their um, bravery and all this stuff, and he says this to them. Now, and it goes in on a shot. That's just on his face, and it says, "Now you guys are the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare." And then it's just it's just the end of the movie. That is one of the coolest title drops in a movie. That was incredible, freaking awesome. That's so cool. But yeah, this definitely is a fun movie to watch. The main characters really don't say a whole lot because, like, if they did, you might be worrying, like, hey, is this going to be cheesy? Because you'd figure out if, like, there were certain dialogue decisions, this movie could be very cheesy. But this does make very good dialogue decisions to where it doesn't feel cheesy. It just feels like a good time at the movie, just seeing them blow up all these people. It's just fun to watch. So yeah, I definitely do recommend this movie. It's, it's in theaters right now, as of the time it comes out. If you want of this movie coming out, of this video coming out, if you want to include this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.